previously on Slug Street Scrappers. It's been months since the Revered One and the Dark Goddess began consuming the souls of the Slug Street Scrappers. Their goal? To gain as much magic energy as possible before finally transferring their shared existence into a new host body, that of the highest ranked Scrapper. Most of the Scrappers were wiped out in the initial attack, and more go missing each day. The current toughest in town, Bruiser Bomb Bash, along with Peach's Powers, Knuckles Clark, and Ryukin Kazuma, are among the few remaining Scrappers left on Slug Street. At the request of Bruiser and Peaches, Venom has taken Punchy, Shizuka, and the Slugger Squad and gone into hiding. Drake Decimus and the Broker Brothers, along with many others, have not been heard from since the attack. got to Slug Street, the stronger the sensation became. Any idea what it could be? It feels like a celestial entity. No, wait. There are definitely two distinct entities. They're here, on Slug Street. How can that be? I thought you, we, were the last of your kind. We are. These two feel different. They're newer. More evolved. Are they a threat? Of course not. You know I'd never let anything hurt you. I was talking about my brother, tough guy. Oh. So what do you think? Should I be worried? Right now, I'm not sure. It'll take a bit more time before I can read their energies in detail. If we can hold out a little bit longer, then I'm sure I can figure out their true intentions. I see. Well then, let's do our best. Buster. Yeah? Are you sure you want to do this? Wouldn't it be more painful to meet him after all this time, only to have to leave him again? It might be. But I'm okay with that. Do you think he'd be okay with that? I don't know. I guess I hadn't thought about it. Do you think he knows about you? I don't think so. We were separated when we were very young. If I wasn't told about him, I don't think he was told about me. I was lucky enough to learn about him when I did. At least he gave me a fighting chance to meet him. Yeah. That's true. Why the pouty face? Sometimes. I wonder if I made the wrong choice. I mean, maybe you would have been fine. You know that's not true. You could have had more time with him. Maybe you could have- If you didn't do what you did, I wouldn't even have had a chance. My fate was sealed. You alone changed that. But more importantly, I got to meet you. I got to be with you. I'm glad. Out of the countless moments and the countless millennia I've been in this world, stumbling upon you is my greatest one. Flatterer. <laughs>
A very long time ago, the universe sparked into existence, and along with it came the first two celestial beings. The red goddess, being with the ability to manipulate energy, and the blue goddess, a being with the ability to create anti-energy. Unlike the light and dark goddess, who sparked into existence much, much later, the red and blue goddesses have the ability to travel between the celestial realm, the birthplace of the gods, and the terrestrial realm, the birthplace of mortal man at will, but at the cost of a finite lifespan. Born with a set amount of magic power, their existence is faded to expire when their energy fully depletes. The blue goddess, having recently used up the last of her power, has faded from existence. It is only a matter of time until the red goddess shares a similar fate. edition Barbie. What's up? Not much, pooches. I will literally kill you. So, have you heard from Bruiser? No. Have you heard from Ryukin? Nothing. I can't believe it's already been months since they left. Do they really have to go to the mountains to advance their training? It feels like a lifetime. Yeah, but I guess it's good that they're going to be in top shape if we have any hope of defeating the Dark Goddess. Especially now that there's so few of us left. I spent all that time looking for Ryukin, and after finally being reunited with him, she shows up and wipes out half a slug street. Half? Try majority. There used to be hundreds of scrappers, and now there's like, what, a few dozen? And that number's getting smaller every day. Anyone who gets close to even touching her is somehow absorbed almost instantly and anyone else who tries to run and hide mysteriously goes missing we're safe for now at least according to venom's intel the first wave of the calling is over apparently it'll take some time for the dark goddess to fully 
assimilate the soul she's absorbed during that first attack. Yeah. In other words, she's full. And we only have a short amount of time to prepare until she gets hungry again. But if she does succeed in culling the remaining scrappers, then her transference will begin, and the reigning toughest in town will become the new host body of the revered one, which means bruiser. Over my beautiful, lifeless corpse. Look, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let it happen. We're gonna find a way to defeat the Dark Goddess. Everything's gonna work out. You know, you're right, enough chit chat. I got a new style I've been working on and I just might try it out. New style, huh? <laughs> Trying a little hard to impress a certain somebody, are we? No, I just like the style, that's all. Mm-hmm. You know, just shut up and put up your guard, okay? Okay. Just don't get your compression underwear all in a bunch. My pressure stance has been getting a little uh, lazy recently, so see how you stack up again. Okay. that was a productive training session. So you want to compare notes? Like what? On the fight? No, on the boys. <laughs> That's none of your business, lady. Oh, come on. Don't be such a stiff. What is he like? So you could kiss her? <sighs> How rude. What if I asked you if Bruiser was a good kisser? <laughs> well, that would be pointless. Why? Because Bruiser's good at everything zuzzing <laughs> yeah except for being tall why do i get the feeling that you guys haven't even kissed yet like duh of course we have and stuff all right we haven't, but it's like, we haven't really had a chance to since- Oh my gosh, you're not gonna cry, are you? Don't get all emo on me. Shut up. Shut up. You better get on that. You never know how much time you're gonna have, I mean. What? Nothing. Okay. Well, I'm off to do some solo training, so I'll see you later. Aha! I found you. Dang, girl. You scared the heck out of me with those creepy eyeballs. Hey, man. Take it easy. Oh, no. Uh-uh. I isn't easy. 
Hi, it's Fabulous. You're in our way. Oh, I'm in your way? Oh, I'm sorry, let me move. Oh, wait, I'm right back where I started. Who are you, anyway? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I am Slugger Flood Fabulous. Look, uh, we're just- Wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. He's funny. Funny in the head, maybe. <laughs> what was that? You said squad. Where are the rest of you? It's just me. Not much of a squad, then, is it? I know you. You used to be the leader of some club for people who liked a certain girl. You used to sing songs and danced on TV. Oh, how do you know that? I can read uh, memories. Well, I used to. Lately, it kind of comes and goes. Well, what kind of freaky... <laughs> what are you, some sort of professional stalker? I was the loyal president of the Peaches Powers fan club. When she was forced to retire, we became the original Fugger Squad. And I, I was the leader, naturally. Until those traders kicked me out. Why'd they do that? That's none of your business. Point is, I made a new squad. A better, more fabulous squad. I got you. So you wanted to be free to stalk this Peaches girl on your own terms. Admirable. Right, right. Wait, what? Shut up! Look, man, we don't want any trouble. We're just passing through. You was funny. You was real funny. You know why I is here. I'm here to take your title. To take his what? Don't play dumb on me. Give me your title. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. Fine. I is done talking anyway. I'll take your title off of your unconscious body. Listen here, I'm warning you, funny man. If you dare touch him, I'm going to- Wait, Red. I think I can take this guy. Let's not expend any more power than we need to. Yeah, you're right, love. We've got precious little left as it is. I thought I could take him alone. That's okay. I know you tried your best. I'm just I'm afraid we don't have much time left. I understand. I'll try to hold on just a little longer.
how did you get... You look sad. I, um... Do I know you? No. Well, um... <clears throat> what's your name, then? I... I don't know what you mean. What do people call you? Well, Buster calls me Red because of the way that I look. So your name must be Sad, right? What? <laughs> no. My name's Knuckles, alright? And I'm not sad. Really? My senses must be going haywire again. <laughs> Who's Rayukin? Rayukin's my... Wait, how do you know Rayukin? You keep saying his name in your head. What? Why does he make you sad? He doesn't make me sad, okay? I just, I just wish that I would've... You kissed him? <laughs> how do you know that? But he went away before you could. And you were angry at yourself or hesitating. I know why you're sad. I'd be sad too if I couldn't kiss Buster or hold him or hug him. Is Buster your... He's me and I'm him. But he's also him and I'm me. Do you see? Yeah, kind of. I'm going to give you advice. Okay. Grab him and kiss him as soon as you see him. Hold him and don't let go. Treasure every moment. You never know. It'll be your last together. Please, accept my advice. Okay. I will.